Now then guys, I'm back. And today I'm in the Lake District. I'm gonna be doing Blink Afra via Sharp Edge today. It's supposed to be a nice day for it. So yeah, nice little grade one scramble. And uh, yeah, that should put me in good stead for the charity event in a couple of weeks. Weather's not the best this morning. A bit foggy, still a little bit nippy, but it's gonna be absolutely scorching soon. So uh, yeah, let's crack on and let's head up to Salva or Salva or something fell first. Then we'll head over to Blencafra. Take on that little beauty. So we're heading up now to Suva Fell before we head over towards Blencafra. Nice little challenging bit. But the sun's coming out now. Ta-da! Which I'm happy about. Which means it's gonna get warmer. But it's gonna to get too warm. Uh, but yeah, we'll crack on, we'll get to the top of this, then it's over to Boyne Cafe. So we've got Salva Fell now in front of us, which has uh, just shown its face, seeing as all the clouds have gone. We've got all the other peaks now starting to come out of the clouds. Ta-da! And you've got Great, Great Mel Fell just here above my finger appearing. They're all coming out to play. <sighs> oh, it's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good day. So we're now at the top of Salva Fell. All the other mountains now are starting to peak out. Behind me here, just behind the clouds is Alvemon. And just over here, we've got Blaine Caffer. And on the left hand side here, is the uh, Grade 1 Scramble, Sharp Edge. But yeah, the views from up the top of here are just absolutely insane. See everywhere. They're gonna be even better from up there. Let's go. So we're just heading down now from Salva Fell. And we're heading towards the little valley up towards Blencafra. And uh, yeah, it would seem as uh, two people already beat me to the top today. I usually get out early, but it would seem others get out earlier. But yeah, it's looking an absolute beauty, is this. Can't wait to do it. Once I'm scared, just getting prepared. <laughs> well, at least that's what my saying is going to be. Can't wait to give it a go. Be fun. So with the looks of it, we're gonna be coming down and into the cloud inversion, which means I probably won't be able to see anything soon, but once we start heading back up then, it should get better. <sighs> yeah, pretty early this, have a look. Ooh. Jesus, oh, well, I suppose I need to fall early, don't I, rather than up there. <laughs> right, have a look at this. Hey, <laughs> Blen Caffer just at top. We need to go through this first to get there. How cool is that? Like a misty, cloudy rainbow. <laughs> Haha. 
So we're just coming through the cloud line now. Sun above my head, which if I get it here, looks like I've had a light bulb idea. <laughs> but yeah, we can't see Blencafa at the minute. It's covered by cloud. But we do have these awesome cloud rainbow type things going over. Really, really cool, man. But yeah, we come out the other side, we head up the valley, and then uh, Blencafa should just appear then. It just adds to the excitement, I suppose. <laughs> But yeah, let's go. So we're uh, just coming through the valley bit now, heading up towards Sharp Edge. Just getting glimpses of it at the minute. But yeah, it looks an absolute beauty. <sighs> Like I said earlier, not scared, just getting prepared. <laughs> Let's do it, I can't wait. Be fun. As long as they don't come tumbling down, we'll be fine. So we've got his first real view of what Sharp Edge looks like. And there it is. Three or four people doing it already. So it'd uh, be nice to have a little bit of company on there. I'll probably up it, well up it before I get there. But how nice does this look? I mean, look at this valley. Woo! So we've just had our first view of the ridge. And I mean, from here, even though it's still fairly high, it doesn't actually look that bad compared to Jack's Rake in the Langdales. But I could be wrong, been wrong many a times before. So uh, yeah, once we get to Scales Town, gonna sit there, quick drink, stuff like that, chill out a little bit, maybe get drawn out, and then we're gonna attempt it and get to the summit of Boyne Cafra. Woo! The sun's absolutely beautiful now. So we're on the steps now which head up towards Scales Town. Starting to feel the incline a little bit now. But yeah, I'm excited. Can't wait to do it. Scale Town just behind and it's absolutely littered with wild campers so yeah we'll crack on and uh, head up onto the edge I did get my drone out but I couldn't get any footage because it will fall on the memory card so I brought it back down to try and get some you know to wipe the memory hit the propeller against the rock and bang brilliant so now I've just got the extra weight I've still got the beautiful views. I mean, that's what we're going up onto this. Let's go.
So we've done the first ridge, which is just behind. Now we're just going to get up the steep bit, which looks like it's going to be a gully. So let's crack on. So the ridge is now down here and we've come up the first gully. Just got the last little gully to get up just here. And then we're at the top. Well, walk around and get to the top, but we're up past the scrambling part. How cool is that? That is absolutely beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> so we've now done Sharp Edge Ridge and uh, to be honest, it's not that bad. I mean, it hasn't got a patch on Jack's Rake over in the Langdales, but yeah, still a little bit daunting, but it's actually not that bad. It's a pretty fun experience. And the views all around are absolutely stunning. I mean, look at that. Whew. Yeah. I mean, you've got a few idiots down at the side of the town screaming, shouting, spoiling it for the others, but it's not like it's campsite and you can kick them off. But yeah, I'm going to head over now to the top of Blank Afra and then we're going to double back on itself and go past the top then head towards another fell which can't quite remember the name of but yeah oh good that enjoyed it <sighs> told you i wasn't scared just prepared <laughs> all right let's get up there just in case you're wondering there is a more safer route to get up to the top but the ridge is probably the most exciting. <sighs> nearly there then. Nearly now. Nearly, 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 nearly. <laughs> Stay down. Scarfell, right in the distance. Look at that for a ridge. That's class. How nice for them views. <laughs> it's going to start getting a little bit busier at the top, so I'm heading down towards the next fell. We've got Skidar just here. We had all the lakes back there, and there's a few ridges which can get up to the top of here, to the top of Blank Afra as well. <sighs> Absolutely mental place, so beautiful. So, so beautiful. What a place, and what a day. Picked a very, very good day for this. <sighs> I did forget to mention that once you're at the top of Blank Afra, You'll notice like a little circle trig point and that's kind of how you know that you're at the top. Didn't get a video because there were about eight people sat on top of it or sat around it so it is what it is. It's a nice day so there's bound to be loads of people up here. But yeah, what a place. So nice as well, like the cloud inversions just down there and over here. I love how you can still just see Skidor. <laughs> beauty. Absolutely beautiful place. I believe right in the distance where my finger is, it'll be high style. I'm not sure, so don't quote me on it. But yeah, probably. Or grass mirror, something like that. It's over that way. But yeah, awesome place. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So just behind me is Knife Edge Ridge. You can see just how steep it goes. But you can't really see it on the camera. But there's that many different routes that people have took to get up it. I mean, there's some of them which are just so sketchy. It's unbelievable. And it was, uh, that wouldn't be my cup of tea, but 
I mean, the actual ridge itself wasn't that bad, but the routes that I can see are, nah, <laughs> it's not familiar. But yeah, that breeze is absolutely beautiful. But yeah, that was the ridge. Let's head over to Bow Scale Fell now. <sighs> Finish this walk off. I don't even look at hard now, does it? I mean, it just looks tiny. <laughs> Whoa, this sun is absolutely beautiful. But yeah, we're on his way to Bow Scale Fell. And uh, the paths are all right, I suppose. I wouldn't say very well trailed, but enough to keep you on track. And we are, what's it saying? I'm gonna watch. Six mile in, I believe. Yeah, six mile in. I'm not doing too bad. I just can't believe how tiny in that, that looks now. So we're just coming up now to the slight little ascent up to the top of Bow Scale Fell. Not too hard, just nice and steady. And then, uh, yeah, I think that should be the last peak. I mean, not sure, but yeah, not many peaks today. Just nice, steady away. Red hot heat. Now it's warm. <sighs> Whoa, let's get to the top. So we're now at the top of Bowscale Fell. You've got Bannerdale Crags just behind me here. And then you've got Blencafra behind. Skidor Little Man and Skidor as well. Not quite sure what these are in front of me. But yeah. Yeah, boy. Just gonna take a seat somewhere and then uh, crack on, have something to eat a bit first, and then crack on. Let's go. So that was Bow Scale Fell. I mean, really nice there. Uh, couldn't quite sit in the windbreaker, so I had to move down a bit. Stunk of sheep poo. So uh, yeah, didn't fancy eating my food near there, but yeah. So uh, yeah, now we're heading along this ridge, going down into Mungrid's side, where my car is. And that will be the end of the walk and I mean it's absolutely blazing it's beautiful but the views are just so so nice <laughs> but yeah we'll head up here to this unnamed peak and then down to the car just popped in at seven mile <laughs> So we're now at the top of the unnamed peak. Don't know why it's unnamed, but yeah. Got Blencafra just in the background. Bannerdale Crags just here. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful. And it's red hot as well. <laughs> Shows you how nice England is, doesn't it? Such a beautiful place once you get out and about. Ooh, nearly. Let's crack on. Head down towards the car.
So I'm pretty much at the end of my walk now. So uh, yeah, I mean the walk's been absolutely beautiful. This morning, a little bit rubbish, cold and wet still, but that sun cleared up when the sun come out. But yeah, Blencather is ridiculously beautiful at the top. You can see right over the Lake District. It's crazy. But yeah, Sharp Edge, not actually that bad when you compare it to Jack's Rake up in the Langdales. It's not that exposed or all like that. There's quite a lot to cling on to here. But yeah, broke my drone. Oh well, I'll fix it when I get home. But yeah, overall, really, really nice walk. Had to make it a little bit longer, but that's fine. And uh, yeah, this might be my last walk before my charity event at Scarfell on the 22nd of July. But I hope not. I'd hope to be out a bit before, but been crazy busy with it all. It is what it is. Don't forget, guys, if you've liked the video, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you on the next one. See you in a bit.